Question 18. Here are the times in seconds that 15 people waited to be served at Rose's Garden Centre. Question A asks us to, on the grid, draw a box plot for this information. A box plot uses five pieces of information. It uses the smallest value, the largest value, and thankfully these numbers are already in order for us, and then it takes the three quartiles. To calculate the quartiles we need to find the middle number and then the middle of each half of the list after we've calculated that value. So because we've got 15 people, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, our middle value, or our median, is going to be this middle value, which is 25. Now this splits the rest of our list into seven numbers. So the middle of our first half, which is our lower quartile, is the number of 14. Because so we've got three numbers to the left of it, three numbers to the right. Same thing on this side, our upper quartile can be found by finding the middle of this list, which would be the number 30. That gives us three numbers on the left of it, three numbers to the right. With these five pieces of information, we can draw a box plot. On the grid, each small line seems to represent one second, which makes plotting things quite easy. So at five seconds, we need to draw a line. Use the example at the bottom to remind you how to draw this. At five, we're going to draw a line which goes through the middle, and I'm making it four squares high. It could be right through the whole thing, as long as the line is at five seconds. Our next line would be at 14 seconds, exactly the same height in the same location. At 25 seconds. at 30 seconds and at 44 seconds. Now this should be joined up using a ruler to create our box and whisker diagram. The quartiles are joined up with a box and then a line goes from the middle of the box to the maximum and the minimum values. And this is our box plot. Now the box plot below shows the distribution of times that people waited to be served at Green's Garden Center. Question B asks us to compare the distribution of the times that people waited at Rose's Garden Center and the distribution of times that people waited at Green's Garden Center. Now while we can see that the maximum value at Green's Garden Centre is much bigger than the other one, we're looking more towards the distribution of this box. So we look for two things. The first one being the median, because that shows where the middle of the data is. And the other one is the interquartile range. By comparing these two things, we're pretty much guaranteed to answer what the question is looking for. Most box plots will ask you to compare these two things. So let's look at the median. So the middle of our group, so showing where most of the numbers were. In Green's Garden Centre, the median is much lower, showing that a majority of the people, or at least half of the people, were all served quicker than in Roses. So to say that, we can put down the Green's is lower, so the median is lower, so half people were quicker at being served. Now the interquartile range, which is the length of the box, the distance between our two quartiles. In this case, Rose's Garden Centre has a smaller interquartile range, which means that the times were actually a lot more reliable. They were closer together. So, interquartile range, the comment that we could give for this is that Rose's smaller interquartile range, so the times are more 
consistent. The smaller the interquartile range, more of the data is packed together closer, which means slightly more reliable or consistent.